BBC Surrey, the time now is 12 minutes past 8 o'clock. Now, perhaps this is your image of the Surrey countryside. Surrey is inseparable from its woods and its bright-tiled houses among the trees. The broad slopes of its hills near Dorking seem to sweep up to the clouds in a grand panorama of beauty. That's an old Pathé newsreel describing the Surrey countryside, but is it... That grand panorama of beauty under threat, perhaps. Uh, well, that's certainly the view of some people living near the, in a village near Dorking. Jack Fien is there this morning. He's in Bear Green. Morning to you, Jack. M- morning to you, James. Yes, I'm, I'm standing in the middle of a field just outside Bear Green, and it really is a case of the morning after the night before, James, or the day before, as it were. I mean, the, the field is, is muddy and it's cold, but... Beautiful here this morning. Um, just just in front of me, I've got the part of Leith Hill, which I can see. Uh, I can see the railway tracks from Holmwood Station. There are some cows next to a, a barn, and then and then below me, the the A24. But it, all around, just completely beautiful Surrey countryside. And this site that I'm standing in, the, the middle of this field, this is where they want to build, or Mulvaney District Council wants to build, 480 homes to try and meet the housing need, that the, the meet the, the government housing targets. But obviously, there's there's growing concern about this um, locally, um, and I've been to the village of Bear Green, which was you know, just a few metres away, a few hundred yards away, uh, to ask people how they were feeling about what was going on. I'm standing by the village pond, uh, and I'm standing by a notice board next to the pond, and there's a sign on that saying, no mass housing here, keep Bear Green green. And there's also a notice telling people about a, a public meeting that is going to take place on the 21st of February. I, I can see just ahead of me the village hall, so I think I'm going to go up there and take a look. I'm Judy Robinson. So we're coming up to the village hall here, you're, you're about to open it. <laughs> We've got the library there and the hall there for different functions. We have sort of tea and a bingo for the over 60s. And life is nice in Bear Green, a nice love village? It, love it, yeah. really nice, peaceful. You can't ask for more, really. So I think that's probably what people are worrying about, whether it would be the same. What do you think? Is it a good idea, bad idea? Uh, I don't know. People need houses, don't they? You know, it's a bit difficult to say that not in my pack. It's that thing, you know, people do need houses. Virginia Strudwick. What's your dog's name? That's Storm. She's very friendly, but she gets very noisy. She likes to hear her own voice. It's going to be awful. I was here before all these council houses were up. I've lived here 50 odd years and it's been a lovely small community. We've had hardly any crime here. It's been great. I can't afford to move. Large developments we don't want. Not a bear green. It will not be a village. They're going to turn it into a town by the time they've finished. (laughs) <laughs> Hello there, what's his name? Rocky, yeah. Rocky. <laughs> oh, Can I ask your name? Derek It's a bit dodgy, I'm not happy about it It's a little village, you know Unless they improve the infrastructure so much I mean, you know, I take the dog down that way Down the road in the evenings There's no street lights They've got to improve everything Before they think about putting all these homes in, I think well, so those, those are some of the views of people living in, in Bear Green about the prospect of, of all these new homes, not, not just the 480 to be built in the field where I am now, but also another 55 potentially in another part of the village as well. And there's, you know, people are getting together, they're forming action groups. Um, I spoke to Ryder Marsden this morning from the Keep Bear Green Green Group. We had weights surveyors out in the village last week getting up everybody's noses. It looks as if it's a foregone conclusion, but we're going to do our best to persuade Mole Valley that they've made a a bad decision in in putting this one forward. Uh, We're standing here on the southern edge of the village. Uh, We've got ancient woodland behind us, uh, and when you're looking out here where the houses are going to be built, you can't see any buildings at all except for two barns in the middle of the field, and over on the other side there, you can actually see the area of outstanding natural beauty, which is right alongside where the houses are going to be built. It's an absolute desecration of the Surrey landscape and, and we're, this is one of the reasons why most of us live in Bear Green because it is part of the Surrey countryside. We don't want to be regarded as NIMBYs, we're quite prepared to have modest expansion and, and that's been agreed in the neighbourhood plan a few years ago. 
Um, but this is just, uh, it's just disproportionate, really, that what they're planning to do here. Liberal Democrat Margaret Cooksey is the councillor in charge of planning at Mole Valley. Morning to you. Good morning. Um, he's, we just heard there, Ryder just saying moderate development. Well, would you go along with that? It's uh, very good to be on to talk about this consultation because we need to hear as many views as possible. Um, we have a, a real difficulty. We're a Greenbelt authority. We have 90% of our area within Mo Valley is greenfield greenfield land, 75% Greenbelt. The government are expecting 7,100 new dwellings in the next 15 years. And we've taken a brownfield approach. We've tried to shoehorn as much as possible into the urban areas, but we still are left with a third of that number, 7,100, that we have to put somewhere. Um, and unfortunately, um, we're going to have to use some greenbelt development, much as I abhor that thought. Well, the Conservatives say you haven't done enough to find brownfield sites and that development should be... Uh, where there is support from the local communities. And that isn't the case in Bear Green. The, the crucial thing is that we're running this consultation. We want all residents to take part. We need to hear their views. Um, we need solid evidence. Groups are wonderful, and it's good to hear from groups, but we need to hear from individuals. And there are lots of ways that, that residents can take part. They'll all have received a postcard through their doors with details now. They can contact us in many ways through the offices in Dorking. They can email at planning.policy at moorvalley.gov.uk to give their views. There'll be printed questionnaires at the consultation event. And by the way, Jack said...